trees and I see stone castles and I'm seeing a woman with armor on. She's like a warrior of some kind. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Tell me more. Okay. She has some kind of helmet on and her armor is like, it's like a skirt, but it's made of almost like metal chain mail and she has a shirt made of a chain mail covering her shoulders like a capped sleeve and she seems to be a part of some kind of I guess some kind of army mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very good look around you and describe the weather there today it looks a little gray, a little bit. Sorry, I don't know that. Oops, it, it looks a little gloomy. Mm -hmm. And there's some people around. There's tents set up. And I feel like this is England. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good, we can discover more. So. Okay. Take a moment and see what you can hear over there. What are the sounds that you can hear? I see, I hear talking. I hear metal clashing. Everyone is not currently in battle, but it seems like they're resting mm -hmm. or preparing. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like this is a part of King Arthur's army. That's just what I, I feel like this is mm -hmm. England. Yeah. Near Glastonbury. Beautiful. Very good. Tell me what I, else do you see them doing over there? I just saw horses. And I just saw a man walking with a baby in his hand walking out of one of the castles. Mm -hmm. Describe hmm. this man for me. He's in like kind of robes that go to the floor. And he's holding the baby in one arm, cradled in his arm. And I'm not sure who he is. Mm -hmm. What do you see him doing over there now? He has a beard, and let's see, what is he doing next? He seems to be looking for somebody. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. We can learn more. Okay. I want you now to close that scene and place yourself in the house, the place where you live in that life. Okay. Standing outside of that house, be there now and open the scene to describe it for me. Okay. Let me see. Okay. I live in a, a stone house. It looks pretty, pretty big, not huge, but it looks like a good size. It's made of stone and it's kind of tall. It seems to have a flat roof. And, um, yeah, so I think this woman or this version of me mm -hmm. is of some kind of, is of significance. Mm -hmm. And this reminds me of, a. Uh, a vision I, I had previously of a man in a, in a castle. And I think it was King Arthur in my vision. So it's all kind of tying in together. Wonderful. Very good. I want you to take a moment. Are you in the house now? Yes, I'm in, I'm in the house. 
Look around you, tell me what do you see within the house? Well, straight above me, there's a staircase. To the sides, there's two rooms and a hallway that runs along the staircase. Mm -hmm. And in the back, there's a kitchen. I see a room with a fireplace. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm like a big supporter of this cause and I'm very invested. Mm -hmm. So you're in support of what? Of this, I think of this war and of supporting King Arthur. I feel like someone is trying to challenge the throne. Mm. I see. Yes. Okay, very good. I'd love to learn more about you. Can you take a moment and look down to the direction of your feet? Okay. What are you wearing? I have boots on. They come about mid calf. Mm hmm. And I'm pretty slender, but muscular. Mm -hmm. My arms are fairly pale. And let's see, I still have my armor on. Mm -hmm. Very good. How old do you feel? I to be like 30, 32. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And is there anyone else that live in this house with you or are you living there by yourself? Let's see. There's a woman here that helps take care of the house. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to see if I have a partner. You can go now to a time when you're eating dinner. And you're eating okay. dinner with the people that are maybe living with you in this place. Be in a time when you're eating dinner together. Be there now. Look around you. Tell me, what do you see? I see some people around the table, but I don't think I'm married. Mm -hmm. I I see friends, like comrades, around the table. Mm -hmm. But I think I, I live alone other than this woman. But I have close friends and a part of this big house. I think it takes up most of my time. Mm -hmm. So you're most of the time with the friends? Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. Beautiful. Now you can close that scene too, or there's anything else that you would like to share? I suddenly feel like I am in love with somebody in within the army. I think we have a relationship, but we're not married. Mm -hmm. Nice. Do you want to share with me more about him? Focus on him. Okay. Trying to see his face. hard to see his face. I can't make it out. Yeah. Okay. So you can close that. We'll okay. learn more as we go. Okay. Take another deep breath. Release completely. Now we are moving to another important day in that life. A okay. day that you consider important. Be there now. And open the scene and tell me everything that you see, just like a movie. Okay. I see myself meeting with a man who seems to be some a mystic. And I feel like this is Merlin, a magician. And I'm going to him for advice, for counsel. Mm-hmm. 
I'm not sure what he's telling me. So take a moment. You can communicate with him telepathically and you can hear everything that he said to you. Can you describe okay. how Merlin look as you look at him? He looks to be uh, middle-aged, probably like 45 or 50. Mm -hmm. And um, he has a long beard and he has cloaks on with a hood and it, it feels like we're in a cave or amongst like big boulders and there's a fire in front of him and I'm like crouched down sitting in front of him across the fire mm -hmm. and it looks like he's like doing divination into the flames and trying to see an outcome mm -hmm. so let's learn and see what Marilyn discovering through the fire okay Tell me what is happening as it happens. Okay. What is happening there now? Okay. I'm trying to, trying to hear it. I feel like it's not good. He's seeing a lot of different possibilities not ending well but there's like one outcome in which it will went, uh, end well in which we will win and um, but all of the other ones it seems like King Arthur is captured or killed so there's a slim chance but there is a chance and I feel like King Arthur means a lot to me I'm very He's uh, I'm close with him, and I believe in him a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Very good. So what is your concern that you arrived with? Seems like the, the fever is not on our side. And the one, there's just one outcome in which we can win. So he's trying to counsel me yeah. on kind of our strategy. Mm -hmm. What is it saying to you? Let's see. You can feel into it and know. and to attack from this forest where they'll be approaching in which we can surprise them so where we are now we're doomed so we have to move and mm. have a better advantage mm. Mm -hmm. okay I see so he's asking you to move to another place so you'll be able to surprise? Yes. Okay, I see. Good, what else do you see that is happening next? Okay, so I, I see myself getting up and thanking him. And he's, he has a lot invested as well. Yeah. He has kind of set up the whole, he raised... King Arthur in kind of in secret and until he was the right age he reintroduced him to the kingdom mm -hmm. Tim Avalon for this moment planned everything he is like he, he is the most important man but he's just behind the scenes strategizing everything Mm -hmm. him and um, when he lives in a Avalon mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. where he raised him so I'm seeing myself getting up and approaching uh, I guess it looks like some kind of commander or someone in charge 
I'm telling him my what I've heard. And so we're moving. He's rounding everyone up to tell them. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Now you can close that scene and we'll move forward to another important day in that time. Okay. Moving forward to another important day, a day that you consider important. Be there now. Okay. This is the final day of the battle. And I just saw wings. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is a part of the life, but I just kind of saw them flash by flying mm -hmm. with like angel wings. Wonderful. Tell me everything that you're looking at. Yeah. All right, I'm just seeing They're overlooking the final. If you hear me, take another moment because I can't hear you really. Right now, there's a little... Another deep breath. And relax, going right back to a deep relaxation, even deeper than before. Blue rose. Now you can place yourself back in the last scene that we saw. Back. Tell me when you're there. I'm there. Wonderful. Tell me all about it. So I see the angels flying. They're like appearing in physical form. Mm -hmm. With like real bird type of huge angel wings as we have seen them depicted in drawings. But they're just flying over the scene. I'm not sure what they're doing. Maybe I'm just seeing everyone's guardian angels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's happening as it happens and we learn as we go. Okay. So we're all hiding in the trees and there's open field 
in front of us, but we're crouching in the forest. And we're beginning to see them approach. Mm -hmm. And this is when we run out and the battle begins. Mm -hmm. Tell me who is your enemy over there? Who are you? Who? It seems to be somebody that wants to take the throne. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not sure his name. Okay. So continue to tell me what is happening as it happens. Okay. There's just a lot of clashing and fighting. Mm -hmm. And I think this is where I meet my end. Mm. I, I feel that it's about to happen, that I die in this scene. Hmm. You won't need to feel anything. You can just look at that as observer and tell me what is happening. It looks like someone is going to get attacked and I run in front of them to save them. And a sword goes through my stomach. Hmm. And I'm crawling on my knees mm -hmm. and lay down. And a friend comes over to squeeze my hand. And then I, I'm dying and I pass. Mm -hmm. Share with me what do you see as your transition? I see my spirit flying out of my body. Mm -hmm. And I'm floating above the sea. Mm -hmm. Now that you're not in the body, how do you feel over there? I feel very light. Mm -hmm. Very nice. From that perspective, after you left the body, you can look back on the entire life you just lived. And you can connect with your soul and learn. Every life has a purpose and lessons. Right. What do, you, what do you feel was the purpose of that life that you just lived? I think the purpose was connecting and, and just to experience fighting for a cause and wholeheartedly believing in something and working with others and having that connection. Mm -hmm. I think it was just really just for this experience. And I feel my soul is very drawn to this land. Mm -hmm. And I've lived many different, I've played many different parts here. Mm -hmm. And I, this isn't my, the normal type of experience that I choose, but it's what I needed to learn is mm -hmm. to be on this warrior type side mm -hmm. and to experience this kind of archetype of this very strong person. Mm -hmm. In my other lifetimes, I'm much more Usually much more of the nurturer and healer. Mm -hmm. So this is something that my, my team of guides encouraged me to experience. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And how do you feel after that? Do you feel like you achieved what you came here to do? I did. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I did enjoy the life. Mm-hmm. Is there anything about that life that now when you look back, would you do better? Hmm. I don't think so. I think I've just played out the experience perfectly. Wonderful. 
Okay, so now you can keep floating and let's see where do you go right after that life. Tell me, what do you see your spirit do? Where do you go? Okay. I see myself going to a, a group of people. Mm -hmm. I'm still in spirit form. Mm -hmm. And they, they look physical, but much more filled with light. Mm -hmm. One looks like a, an ET. Mm -hmm. Others look like very human. I think this is definitely my group of guides, some of them. Mm -hmm. Have a good look around and tell me what do you see? Seems right now we're just in like white space. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. How many guides do you see all around you? I see a lot. Mm -hmm. Probably like 10. Oh, wonderful. And they're all very happy to see me. Mm. You can enjoy the moment of reconnecting with them. And okay. then you can start listening to see what they tell you as you arrive. Okay. Connect with them telepathically. They're kind of, they're very happy and I feel very nurturing energy, but they're laughing how we always forget. Yeah. And we always forget that they're always there. And we always tell ourselves, you know, we're going to remember this time. But it's been very hard in the past. But now it's getting easier and easier to connect. Mm -hmm. Because this the veil is thinning and thinning. And soon the connection is going to be so much more obvious. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I, I see us like on this cliff overlooking this beautiful sunset. Mm -hmm. It looks like ancient Egypt. Or maybe this is serious. I feel like I, I am going to this school that my friend was talking about. Let's see. Tell me what okay. you see as you go there. I'm seeing pyramids. The last time I was in Sirius, there was water. So me, I don't know where this is, but... Okay, we would ask. Okay. Describe what do you see and then we could learn more. I'm seeing lots of sand and palm trees and pyramids. I think this is a multi, a higher dimensional version of ancient Egypt mm -hmm. that we can visit when we either pass on or when we are living in a reality of a higher dimension, we can visit here. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. And I'm seeing this one pyramid with this big entryway that's glowing. Mm -hmm. So I think that means we're supposed to enter. Let's go there. Okay. I feel this is where we go for learning and healing after a lifetime. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing this like bed of water. It's like a bed with water in it. Mm -hmm. And I think you go in to float and this water is very healing mm -hmm. and it drains a lot of the pain and uh, trauma you may have experienced from your past life. Mm -hmm. So it's a healing bath. Mm -hmm. Would you like to take it now? Yeah. So get into that bath. Okay. And describe everything that is happening as you enjoy that place. Okay. The water is very warm. 
there's flower petals on the surface. Mm -hmm. And the water it has a, a light to it. It's like an electric blue. Mm -hmm. And I feel everything just kind of leaving me from behind. Like it's just being drained. Everything is draining mm -hmm. out of me. So I'd like to give you the time now. Okay. And that every, any energies that need to leave the body right now, leave your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body, and your spiritual body. Okay. The past, the present, and the future from any timelines. Go back into the light for healing. And you can describe your experience as it leaves the body. I'm feeling like a nice, heavy energy coming in. Mm -hmm. It feels very healing. And I'm just like intuitively knowing that we should do this more at, at home. Mm -hmm. Have an intentional conscious healing bath mm -hmm. and let everything drain out any pain or stuck energy you can infuse the bath with the oils all of these preparations will set the tone to be a healing space mm -hmm. wonderful very good Allow the water to drain out all the energies and allow the new light to come into your body to replace all the other parts that left the body. Take another deep breath and relax into it. Would you like to stay there while I speak with your subconscious? Yeah. Wonderful. That's a good idea. So enjoy this healing temple while I'm going to speak to your subconscious. Okay. May I speak to the subconscious, please? Yes. Thank you. Thank you for, so much for coming forward. Mm. Would you like to share with us why did you choose to show Dana those life you just showed her? I think, let's see, let me just try to let go. Mm -hmm. And just say the first thing that comes to mind. Relax into it. Let's take another deep breath. Release and relax. It was important to see that all different lives are important to add to your experience, your soul's knowledge. We're always spiritual beings, no matter what kind of life we're living, even those that are stuck in the very physical reality, that's okay, because it is an experience to add to your soul's knowledge. So all lives are equally important. No experiences above another. Mm -hmm. That's a wonderful message. Thank you for this reminder. You're welcome. What was she experiencing in that life that was important for her to know today? It was important for her to see and get confirmation of her lifetimes in this area of Clastonbury. Mm -hmm. And we also want to bring this more violent life, even though it was for a cause you believed in, 
I wanted to bring attention to it because when you go to this area, you should cons consciously ask for healing while on this land and spread healing to the land yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In what way can she send the healing and ask the healing? Can you guide her more? Yes. She can call upon angels. She can call upon the support of her dragon guides, the goddesses of the land, to spread light and for her to envision light soaking into the land and spreading out as far as she can envision. This is very healing, very powerful. Mm -hmm. That's important for us to all try to focus on helping the planet heal and assist in the raising of her vibration. Mm -hmm. Is there any certain location that you feel she can send the love more and will be more helpful? She should go to the tour. To the tour. Mm -hmm. And for personal healing, to go to the well. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Can you share with us what was the use of the tour in those age, the time that she lived in? Okay. A long time ago, the tour was the Isle of Avalon. It was a mystical land, a mystical portal between worlds. Water surrounded this area. And over time, as the world became more and more physical, the water began to recede and what was left was this hill. And although it is physical, it is also a very multidimensional and powerful place today. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So, how the civilization over there use that portal? How can we use the portal? How the civilization that was there was using the portal. Okay. Yeah. Civilizations use the portal to connect to their ancestors. Mm -hmm. To connect to their guides to connect to the other realms. In the past, the portal was from the physical land of England into Avalon. But beyond that, after the uh, world began more physical, people used it to connect, mostly with their ancestors and angels and guides. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Why did you show her the angels flying above the scene? The angels are always there. They're always looking after everybody the best they can. Mm -hmm. We just wanted to show the scene and glimpse into the multidimensional reality of this battle that the angels were viewing it. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And you said she was feeling that she had a special relationship with King Arthur over there. Yes, they were very close. Mm -hmm. She was actually his half sister. Hmm. Wonderful information. Thank you. Can you share mm -hmm. with me more about how they called her in the life she just saw? How they did what? How they called her. What was her given name? Oh. Mariana. Mariana. Wonderful. Very good. And she was half-sister to Arthur? Yes. I see. Very good. What was her abilities while she was there? What was special about her? Okay. Well, she was there to 
support him. They were there. They were actually very close. And let's see. She was actually raised along with him in Avalon. And then they were both brought into this world by Merlin when the time was right. Wow. Wonderful. So they brought from Avalon to the land of the UK over there? Yes. Mm -hmm. I see. And Merlin was one of her guides? Yes. Mm -hmm. They had a close relationship. He pretty much raised her. Wow. Wonderful. Does Marilyn have a message to give now? Let's see. He actually has been a big part of this process right now of everything that's happening to Earth. Mm -hmm. He's been serving as many people's guides. And he's available to whoever calls upon him for alchemy and manifestation. And he's using his abilities to help the vibration of the earth. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Let's take another deep breath. Would the subconscious will allow me to communicate with Marilyn directly? Let's see. Okay, yes. Wonderful. Connect with this energy now. May I speak with Marilyn, please? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming forward. You're welcome. Do you have any message would you like to start with? Okay. I would like to tell everyone that this is a very important time. And I want to urge everyone to connect to their inner power to connect to their healing abilities, your alchemical healing and manifestation abilities, and to con continue to practice because these things take practice and hard work. It's a lifelong dedication. But for those on this path, have a great advantage at this time. And they are helping this shift of the earth right now. I want to tell everyone that they're doing very good work and to just keep going deeper, to keep working. More and more will be revealed. More and more understandings will come to be. But it's a process that you all need to learn and see for yourselves because you have the ability to do so. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Can You're you share welcome. with us more about the area of Avalon and what's the healing that occurring and needing to occur on that land? The healing, the healing power of the land you want to know about? Uh, both. Also, if the land need more healing or if there's more things that need to happen on the land there. Okay. It is a very powerful healing spot for people to go to. Mm -hmm. It is one of the places in the world that still carry deep magic. And while all areas of the world hold power, Gaia is very magical. But this is has a very supercharged power to it. Yeah. And some parts of the land do need healing and clearing. And it is being cleared. Everything is being shaken to the surface. Mm -hmm. So it is actually a good sign when 
things are being brought up, it's because it's being cleared. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yes. Is there anything that you find that we can do better at this point to assist with the healing of the land? I think if everybody continues to send light into the earth, rainbow color light, white light, purple light, use your intuition for what healing light it needs. And I also urge everyone to call upon their guides and angels to assist them because they can only do so with permission. Mm -hmm. So invite them into your space to help you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Are you part of the guides of Dana? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Do you have any message for her directly? I would just like to tell her that I'm here for her and I'm guiding her in every way that I can and that I have a very fatherly love for her and I'm assisting her. Mm, wonderful. Mm -hmm. I know she's wanting to buy a new home and then you said that you're good in manifestations. Is there anything you can guide her to manifest that? Yes. It is important to always have a relaxed and trusting energy. But the right thing will come to you. You must envision what you want, but then don't grasp it too lightly. Release it to the universe in a bubble of light and then let go. And there's a balance of being proactive, but also surrendering to what the universe is meant to provide to you. So don't feel anxious that you're going to miss out on the right opportunity. Just keep looking with a patient attitude. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yes. Mm -hmm. And can you share with us more about the event from your perspective? Yes. The event is happening now and it keeps coming in these waves that you've all been experiencing. They are very real and they are happening. And it's important that you surrender to all these changes but also to work with them, continue your meditation, continue raising your vibration because your change is the event, your transformation is the event along with Gaia's as well. But you're getting closer and closer. Mm -hmm. She wanted to know more about where we are in the process. What can you share with us? I'd say that we are more than halfway through, but the second part is going to keep accelerating. So although we're halfway through, it's going to be quicker than the way things were evolving in the past. This has had to be a, a slow unfurling for a reason. Mm -hmm. Can you share with me about the reason for that? Your bodies must adjust. It cannot handle such high frequencies all at once. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that is why. Mm -hmm. And what will happen as the frequency rise and as the, our body is changing? Can you describe what will happen yes. with changes? Mm -hmm. Our bodies, all of your bodies, are going to be filled with much more light. Although you will still have physicality, but you are going to be lighter. Your soul is going to be able to expand more. In 3D reality, it feels kind of crammed into your body and you're not able to feel the true expansiveness. 
But when your body is carrying more light, your soul is able to stretch out further. Your abilities will be highly sensitized and increased. You'll be able to heal so at such a stronger uh, such a stronger way. Mm-hmm. Communication with the higher realms be so much easier. Everything you have now but heightened will feel much better, not so much pain. Mm. Sounds nice. Mm. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. It is going to be very nice. Mm-hmm. Everyone's going to want to have very long lives. It's going to be a wonderful experience to live this way. Mm-hmm. And what will happen on the earth while all of that is happening with the changes you see? Okay. The earth is going to have a big transformation. And the way I perceive this shift is that earth is going to be within another dimension. So you all will be living within another dimension. So the physicality of this earth is going to change. The landscapes are going to be different. We're going to be living within a different dimension of the earth. Mm-hmm. It'll be much more natural, not, not, no pollution. It's going to be the Garden of Eden that it was intended to be. Hmm. That's wonderful. Can you describe that place? What do you see there? Yes. The grass is very green. The skies have beautiful colors in them. It's very easy to build. A long time from now, this is not. This is all a process and a shift. But people will be able to build with their minds. It's going to be very easy to manifest what you want. Mm-hmm. You're not going to need paper money. We're going to be able to manifest. If you need a helping hand, a neighbor will be there. Everything is just going to work in pure synchronicity. Mm. That's nice. It's going to be very nice. Wonderful. Is there anything that you see that is coming up next for us that you can share with us? Okay. There's going to be a really big shift in October or November. Mm -hmm. We're going to be taking a big jump within vibration. And that is going to put everyone on a super accelerated path. A lot of the lower densities will be gone by that time. A lot of momentum. And I'm seeing a, a big heart with a light pouring out of it. A, Shining a, on us all. Mm-hmm. A big heart with light? Yes. Mm-hmm. Pouring onto earth. Mm-hmm. I'm also now seeing a spaceship in the sky. And rainbow light is coming out of it also pouring towards earth. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of assistance, a lot of beings helping pour light onto the planet. And in addition to source. Mm. Wonderful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see people waving at us. There's like a lot of people on this ship and they're waving to us. And they all look very different. There's human children. There's older ET-like beings. And they're waving to us. <laughs> very nice. Yeah. Okay. Let's take another deep breath. And release completely. Now you can go back into the light to meet your guides. 
up, okay. up, up, back into the light. Tell me when you're there. Okay, I'm there. Wonderful. I want to thank Marilyn for his, uh, his information and now you can look around you. Yes. Me, who do you see there now in the light? Okay. Does any of your guides want to come forward to give you more information? I'm seeing um, a Native American man who I've seen before. I believe he was in our last session. He's here again. Wonderful. What is his name? Can you ask him? Okay. Oahu? Oahu? Uh -huh. Yes, I believe it's Oahu. Oahu. Wonderful. Yeah. May you allow me to communicate with him directly? Sure. Wonderful. Bring him forward, connect with his energy. Good evening, Oahu. <laughs> Good evening. Oh, thank you for coming forward. Do you have a message first? I just want to give you all greetings. Let you know that we're all supporting you. I love to watch Earth and everything that everyone is going through. It makes me very happy that this is happening. Wonderful. Oh, wow, yes. I wanted to ask you if there's anything you can help with the healing process of Dana. Okay. From your perspective, does she need any healing? Yes, uh, she could use some. We can pour some light through her crown. And I will sage her with our multidimensional type sage mm -hmm. for a clearing. Mm -hmm. Can you I do can... it again and tell me if there's anything that needs to be cleared? Okay. Thank you. She needs to clear the stress and she needs to trust more. To trust that everything's unfolding as it should and to let go. Mm -hmm. Gotta clear the, the buildup of stress in her chest. Mm -hmm. That's where it gets clogged. Mm -hmm. Would you release it for her now? Yes. Thank you. Ask subconscious to also release that. Okay. And if there's any other light beings that want to assist in the process, they can heal and help with their light. Okay. So let's open a vortex above the chest and allow all the energy to drain out back into the light for healing. May I speak with the subconscious? Yes. Can you describe what is happening as it happens? I need the density of stuck energy is being funneled out of the chest into a pyramid type structure of energy, in which there's a hole on the top. It's being funneled straight up into the light to be recycled into a lighter energy. Wonderful. Now when we're doing this healing process, do, would you do another body scan to see if there's anything need to be healed? Okay. Thank you. We're going to charge up the lower chakras. Mm -hmm. Those on the planet doing spiritual work right now need to also make sure the lower chakras are charged because they are all going to be merging into one. So we mm -hmm. need to make sure to focus on all of the energy centers in the body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had another session that they've been merged to one. Can you share why is it being merged to one? Okay. The centers can, as they merge, are going to all work in unity as one pinwheel. You can think of a pinwheel with all the energy centers on it. 
spinning and rotating in balance and in harmony rather than being having random chakras clogged everything is going to work by clearing itself as the rainbow energy does that so it will always be clearing itself wonderful okay would you do that for me now yes thank you Tell me when you're all done. Okay, almost there. It's wonderful, take your time. Okay, we're there. Thank you. Now I'll give some you're other welcome. suggestions and tell me what you're doing from them, okay? Okay. So please establish the connection to source and collapse the distance between her and the source. Okay. Remove the ceiling and establish her in oneness. Repair and upgrade blueprint and template. Install the newest system for her ascension. Okay, we're doing that now. Thank you. Bring on oh. any dormant energies, structures, and install the new template overlays. Dissolve program and beliefs that are not longer serving here, and download the new beliefs and the programs and the gifts and the abilities to support her, her ascension process. Share with me what are you releasing and what are you bringing online and downloading in. We are bringing in the upgraded versions of the original templates that have been either manipulated or deactivated. We're re, uh, reigniting them. And any templates or codes that have been manipulated with or deactivated are being restored to their original being. Wonderful. Tell me when it's been done. It's been done. Wonderful. Now collapse any timelines that are not longer serving her or the collective and attune the body to the highest vibrational, vibrational energies to be used for her personal and collective healing. Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, please check also if there's any aspect of her within her or outside of her, all around her or in other parts that need healing or integration in a better way. I think she's in a pretty good state right now. Good. Does she have any cords? Yes. What it's connected to? It's connected to a... a her husband. Mm -hmm. We should solve that so they can be strong individuals and yeah. not be connected in a negative way. Good. So let's release that cord. Tell me what you're doing as you do it. Okay, we're just slicing through it with an etheric knife. And then we are sealing the air light on both sides. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, thank you. Now, if she did any vows or agreements or contracts in other lifetimes that are not serving her anymore, can you check if she did any of those to renegotiate and establish? Yes, there's been some old agreements that we're now able to uh, void and cancel. Mm -hmm. Can you share with me more about them so she would know? Okay. Mm 
There are just certain agreements that you make throughout lifetimes or in between lifetimes of roles that people want to play out in terms of exchanging of karma. But we no longer need to do that. We are in a time where all can be erased. So we're starting over fresh and new. Beautiful. Very good. So it's been done, is it? Really? It's done. Okay, good. Does she have any other entities or attachments? No. Okay, can you also check around her body and outside the area where she lives, if there's any beings that need to move on to the light? There actually is one being I'd like to remove. Mm -hmm. Where is it? He's actually hanging on to the outside of the energy field. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's lost, but he's attracted to the light. Yeah. Trying to kind of leech onto it. Yeah. It doesn't mean harm, but he's doing it anyways. Yeah. Do I need to speak we'll send with him? Or can we send an angelic force yes. out to clear the space? But Let's send in Archangel Michael to take him to his next destination with, with love. With love, of course. Thank you. So let's send a lot of love around him and come send it into the light for healing. Okay. Tell me when it's there. He's there. Wonderful. Is there anything else that you find? I think she's in pretty good shape right now. Very good. The aura is sealed. Seal the aura now. Thank you. And all the chakras up. are all aligned and working in the optimal. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. good. Thank you for all this work. I appreciate it a lot. You're very welcome. Very. This was definitely a powerful upgrade. Good. And healing. Very good. She's doing great work. Let's take another deep breath. Yes. And could I ask more questions? Sure. Wonderful. Who would love to speak with me next? Let's see. Is there any collectives that want to share some messages? I feel a group of beings coming in. They're like floating over towards us. Really? They're all connected. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's how they travel. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a group of beings here. Wonderful. Would you allow them to speak with me directly? Yes. Wonderful. Connect with their energies and allow them to express themselves when they arrived and when they meet okay. them. Okay. We're here. Good evening. Good evening to you. What may I call you? Hmm. We don't know what, what would you like to call us? You can call us anything that you feel is appropriate. Um, maybe I'll think about the names after you share the message. What would you like to share with us? Okay. We would just like to share our support and encouragement for all the work that you have been doing. It was very powerful work. You are helping a lot of people. And the more you help people, the more they're going to be able to help people. It is like a chain reaction as the light bulbs are going on within so many people. So you just want to give you confirmation that you are doing an excellent job and to keep doing what you are doing. Thank you, guys. Can you share with us where you're coming from? Yes, we're coming from within the ninth dimension in dimensional terms. 
-hmm. It is our job to oversee this ascension process right now. Mm -hmm. We are giving guidance to people, even if they are not consciously aware of it. It is our job to help people wake up Mm -hmm. and to give continued support once they do. Mm. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you so much for helping us. You're very welcome. Would you give us some support today and tell us things that will be good for us to know? Okay. What do you find it's important for us to know? It is important for you to know that there's a big shift coming. Your vibration is going to change significantly. September, October, November are very powerful months. Mm -hmm. We will call it the trifecta. Mm -hmm. So just keep doing your work as these waves come. People are going to be uh, ascending more, not to the final, you know, not to Mm -hmm. the final place that you all think of, but a a big step upwards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to look forward to. And we are riding along the the highest timeline right now. So we're in a good place. Mm. So it seems like things are spitting to the way they were supposed to? Yes, we are back on track. Back on track. Okay. And can you share what's the purpose of those waves that are coming and what effect they will have? They are shifting the body vibration you're shifting earth's vibration so that you can all ascend into the next dimension and it is there that you will be filled with much more light and love you'll be able to feel it much more Mm -hmm. so what would you recommend for us to do while those waves are here just to accept them when you feel intense energies coming in, just do whatever calls to you. You can lie down and go into a quiet space of meditation and allow yourself to receive. You can do whatever feels right, but just be sure to be open and to accept it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is there any time that during the months you see those waves? What date it's supposed to touch us? Okay. We would just like to give the, the, the months of September, October, and November. So there's going to be a lot happening. And we are expecting it to be each, each major transition in these months will be towards the end of the month. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And how would we know when a wave is touching us? How would we know to go into that place of meditation? What can we notice? Okay. You're going to feel a strong energy coming in. You might feel like a heavy, soothing energy. Or you might feel like an exciting, light energy. No one is going to feel it differently, but it will be a positive feeling. Mm-hmm. Now that your bodies are more tuned to the energy, it's going to start feeling better and better. People will have a less ta- less hard time adjusting. Mm-hmm. So, we, so we've made it over the hump. Good. Yes. Mm-hmm. And what will happen after those three months and what we will need to do with this new new energy, new body, new information. Okay. Everyone just needs to continue to do healing work and to help others. More people are going to be waking up and just be ready to assist in whatever way you can. Bring others together uh, for a support network to really help ignite the energies and vibrations that are rising. You can help each other uh, ascend in this process. Mm -hmm. Very electric when you connect, because in truth, you are all one. Mm -hmm. So the more you connect, the more you will feel your whole self. 
because they are you and you are them. Mm. And what is the next steps after that in the ascension process? Everything's just going to start shifting and changing. After the, the, uh, as the earth is going through this transition, we're getting over that hump where we're going to start seeing positive changes, higher vibration, less violence, more peace. People are going to start noticing this connection. Those that are asleep, so you can just start to expect lots of people waking up and the shift really beginning to happen in the physical. Colors might be brighter. Sounds might be different. Smells. Everything has got to be shifting before your eyes because you're going to be living within two different dimensions, slipping in and out of each one until the vibration is strong enough where you can maintain to live within the higher dimension. I see. So we're going to start to interact more with both dimension in our physical form? Yes. In our... Mm -hmm. Okay. That sounds yes. exciting. And we have thought of the name that you can call us. Okay, tell me. It is the trifecta. The trifecta. You can call us that. Because there is three of us. Oh. We want to support you during this three-month period especially. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. What else would you like to share as support for preparation for those times, for these three months? I would just say to keep on uh, meditating and connecting at least once a day. At least. Keep checking in throughout the day. Once an hour. Doesn't, you don't have to meditate for hours on end. Just little bits. Five minutes. Every couple hours, check in to your center. Go based on feeling and not your thoughts. We're moving out of this thinking state and more into the feeling state. So just keep checking back into your center because you know. You hold the answers. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you for that information too. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm wondering about the grid of the earth. There's a lot of ley lines and information that goes through the grid and the different portals. Can you share with us more about that? Because I feel guided to those different ley lines and work. Why is that? Well, the different ley lines hold different energies. And when you connect with these different energies, they will awake different things in you. That's why you're a drawn to these power points because you're intuitively being called to them your body is feeling the pull to receive the healing and energy that these places can give you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why is it sometimes before we go to these energies place to those power places sacred sites we feel that there is um, the excitement creates sometimes frustration or anger around the time. There's like acceleration before we go to those kind of places. I think it is uh, the anticipation and the anticipation of the frequency change. Sometimes it can be a little bit jarring, but once you attune and adjust, you're going to feel uh, much more enlightened and in a higher state of being. Mm -hmm. So just relax, just relax. Mm -hmm. Try not to let this uh, jarring get to you. Move out of the thoughts and into the heart. Mm -hmm. Take time to breathe and rest. Mm -hmm. And it also feels like there's some kind of exchange between us and the ley line it's, and the power plays. Yes. What kind of in what the place is receiving from us? So the earth needs awakened people to continue to ascend. So just like it is a portal for you to receive the healing energy, it is also a portal to receive your healing energy. We, the humans, are much more powerful than they know. Mm -hmm. 
They hold a lot of the keys and codes. When you are open to giving, you will be helping the earth in these ways. Mm. Okay, wonderful. Yes. So is there places or ley lines through the earth that are needing more support than others? Just go by your inner compass of which ones are being called to you. Uh, and that's it. That's all we really have to share about that. Okay. So can I ask one question a person about that? Yes. Wonderful. Thank you. So I feel guided to go here in Denmark to some pyramids that we just discovered. Can you tell me more about those pyramids here in, the, in Denmark? Okay. seems that you've had connection with these pyramids in the past. Mm -hmm. And you're being drawn to revisit them because of a, a connection. And in the past, it looks like you had part in creating these pyramids as a way of creating these energy centers for the earth. So it'll be very powerful for you to reconnect with these energies of these pyramids because you took part in building them. Mm -hmm. Is there a higher purpose for me visiting those pyramids? Deep healing. Deep healing and, and empowering and empowering energy will surge through. Mm. Beautiful. And what, what about the pyramid in, in Bosnia? This is also an energy vortex of healing. You can receive good, great healing if you go there as well. It seems maybe you've had part in building of a lot of the pyramids. Mm -hmm. What was the purpose of the pyramids when we, when we built them? They are energy vortexes for the earth to receive communication, to receive healing energy. They are like energetic satellites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it is the shape that allows this to flow freely. Mm -hmm. I used to be much more multi-dimensional and shining bright, energetic, but now they've turned into a more physical structure. Well, they'll be shifting again into a more light structure again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just learned about the three sun disk. What do you mean by that? What is that? The three sun disks. The three sun disks. I wonder if it, you are referring to an Egyptian idea. Mm -hmm. Would you share with me about that idea? Okay. It seems these desks were used for power and connection in the past. Healing. I'm unsure of the exact origins, but I'm feeling a vibration of Isis and Osiris. Well, that is all I, I'm seeing at the moment. Okay. I'm sorry. No, wonderful. Thank you for this information. It's wonderful. You're doing a great job. Okay. Thank you, man. I'm seeing a pyramid right now, another pyramid. Mm -hmm. Tell me about everything that you observe as you... Yeah. I'm having an aerial view of this pyramid with the gold around the top. Uh, mm -hmm. It's stone and the top part is covered in gold. Does mm -hmm. anything like this sound familiar? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Tell me more. What else do you notice? And what do you see that is happening there as it happens? 
I'm seeing something underground mm -hmm. beneath it. Mm -hmm. Seems like there's a hole underneath this pyramid going deep into the ground. Mm -hmm. There's some kind of structure in the middle, like a, a tower, thin tower coming out of the ground and connecting to the base of this pyramid. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That is all I'm seeing. Maybe it is a source of great power connecting the center of Gaia to the higher dimensions, mm -hmm. the higher realms. Beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there more information from the inner earth that would you like to? Check with it. You can go down into the inner earth and see if you can get more information from there. I'm just seeing these trails underneath the earth among cliffs, but I'm not really seeing any people. Mm -hmm. Just looking back down into this large hall. There are stairs. I'm going to travel downwards. Wonderful. Go deep down. Okay, there's another pyramid at the bottom of this hall. Mm -hmm. And it looks more like an Aztec. Uh, type pyramid, like a Mexican pyramid. Mm -hmm. Seems that there's inner earth people doing a lot of work down here, sending the energy upwards from the core of Gaia, which is her heart chakra and holds a lot of healing. What else do you notice down there? There's a little boy down by here. Seems he's in charge of taking a look out on things. So everything is connected and everything is working towards this shift. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm seeing is that there's just so many interchanging parts. Mm -hmm. And the earth is much more magical than we think. Mm -hmm. Is the boy still mm -hmm. there? Yeah, he's just kind of like looking around. He looks very casual. And he's just observing the energy. That mm -hmm. seems to be his job, just to make sure it's free-flowing. Mm -hmm. Ask the boy if there's anything he would like to share with you. Okay. He's just shaking his head and just pointing upwards at this beam of like green light traveling, traveling up. Mm -hmm. Let's see where it's going. Okay. And it's just traveling up, up, up through this pyramid and then up, up, up through another pyramid and then up, up, up to the earth spreading out all amongst the earth and then there's more of the energy connecting to the higher realms to also receive energy from there so it's going both ways mm -hmm. wonderful I wonder where in the world this pyramid is but I'm not getting it I don't know mm -hmm. okay it's okay let's take another deep breath Okay. Let it go completely. May I speak with the subconscious again? Okay. Thank you. So she wanted to know more about the Serious Mystery School. Would you like to share with her information about that? We actually were before in the Serious Mystery School 
And there is a doorway both from ancient Egypt on one side and Sirius on the other. And it is a place in between, in between the worlds. So both sides can enter. And it is a place for healing, for people to come after death. And then once they have healed, we learn together. We learn and work on healing. And it is a beautiful place. Many people enjoy coming to. Hmm. Wonderful. So you mentioned that the series is in between the world, between us and between them. Yes. How would you call this place? What other names does it have? Okay. Hmm. Araya. 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 Mm -hmm. Temple of Araya. Hmm. Wonderful. Very good. Yes. And what's important for her to know about this place today? She can visit here anytime in her meditation. When you envision yourself and use your imagination to be in a place, your energy is there. It is that easy to come connect and heal and center. Wonderful. Yes. She also wanted to know about her fairies connection. Does she have any fairies friends? Yes, she does. A lot of that. them, a lot of them are connected to her because she has had lives with them. They're mm -hmm. not always attracted to everybody, because, but because of her incarnation, they feel that part of her and are attracted towards her. Mm -hmm. There's definitely going to be connections when she gets to Glastonbury. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of fairies over there. Yes, mm -hmm. there are a lot and what she should expect from that kind of connection she can expect some play some healing some insight from a different perspective just a magical experience a fun experience yeah wonderful yes okay can you share with her more things about Avalon or places that she should visit in the UK? She should just visit all the sacred sites there. Really soak it up and enjoy it. She will be guided. She will know. Okay. Really get into a, a place, an intuitive place, and, and she will. Good. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to ask you... Um, there was a place called Evbury. What was happening there in Evbury? What is it called? Evbury. Evbury. Hmm. There's a town, but there's a lot of circles over there. Okay. Circles and a little kind of a pyramid structure. Hmm. Evbury. Is this a place where there are crop circles? Sometimes around that, yes. Okay. What's seems, significant about this area? It seems to be another PowerPoint, another vortex point. Hmm. So if you're interested in going there, we would encourage it. Encourage you to explore all the places you are drawn to. Just continue to follow your intuition. Just mm -hmm. trust in what is coming up and your desire, what you want to do. Mm -hmm. I was thinking for her to ask if it's a place for her to visit, because when I was there, it was very interesting, and I felt uh, that was a very powerful place, not so far from Glastonbury. Okay. Yes, I think that is a good idea. Okay. And there's also some fairies over there that might be interesting. <laughs> Great. And she'll love it. Okay. It's, mm. I'll share with her a little bit of information about that. Um, okay. Would you tell her more about the antlers woman that you showed her before? Which woman? The one with the antlers. Oh, yes. 
That was Ellen of the Ways. That was her. We want to confirm. Thank and you. that she is very connected to the goddesses because of different lifetimes. Um, from planets with strong goddess fruits. And she had connections with Ellen of the Ways before. And she's just popping in to show her her support and to encourage her to continue to explore her Celtic roots and the ways of the goddess. Because uh, this is what her soul is strongly connected to and will bring her great joy and guidance. Hmm. Wonderful. Is yes. there anything she would like to guide her now? Just to keep following your instincts because they are leading you on a path of self-discovery. You have very interesting origins and it's going to be very exciting for her to explore them on her own. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yes. You, you also showed her before this eco-village and this wolf. Can you show yes. me that? This eco-village was a part of New Earth. Mm -hmm. This is what a part of it will look like for those who are looking to live in this type of environment. And the wolf was a symbol that he is protecting the New Earth for us. Mm -hmm. He is keeping it pure and clean and just holding that space for us. Mm -hmm. Can you locate where that eco-village will be on the Earth, the New Earth? Okay. Fly above and see where the location. It does appear to be somewhere on the west coast. Mm -hmm. okay. Northern west coast, I would say. Either northern California or somewhere, or I don't know, just somewhere on the west coast, upper west coast. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. And what other type of, why did you chose first to show her that? Why she need to see that? We just wanted to show her what is coming and that this is all very real. Hmm. Okay. Is there any other types of way of living on the new earth that is different than this eco-village for the human beings? Yes, there are going to be lots of different ways of life. Mm -hmm. it, it, there will be many different areas of interest and it's going to be a very exciting place because it really will fulfill everybody's uh, passion or desires. You can create whatever you want. Mm. Wonderful. And people will be traveling between those different types of Living yes. Situation. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can travel at will. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Um, and what about the blue beings that she's seeing sometimes? Who are they? These are uh, star brothers and sisters. And they also came to pop in to visit and get for healing and uh, give her that really cool experience of connection. Hmm. Where are they from? They are from Sirius. But mm. There was also some from Arcturus there too. Mm. They were a group of just Blu-ray beings. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there any other questions that you have that can assist her? I think that we have covered everything for now. Okay. Does she, does anything that she can do to accelerate her path or her healing or ascension process? She must just continue what she's doing. She's on the right path. Mm. Keep exploring. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Very good. Yes. So now I would like to ask the subconscious if we can take a few more minutes, so I would ask some personal questions. Okay. Is the body is doing well? She's continue. Yes. Okay, very good. So let's take another deep breath. 
And I want you to relax completely. And you can continue being now in the healing temple to continue okay. to receive healing and information and relax into it. And I would like to invite my guides to show themselves to you. Okay. Any of my guides who like to show himself to you can do it now and you can share with me. Okay. Maybe you see if anything's come forward. Hang on. Yeah. Okay. You can mm -hmm. go all the way up into the light. I will assist you with that. Okay. Go up, 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 up into the light. Up, up, up. And tell me when you're in the light. It's all bright all around. Okay. From here. Yeah. Wonderful. Now take a moment to look through the light. And I would like to invite my guides to show themselves to you there in the light. Okay. Tell me if you see anyone. Okay, I see a woman approaching. Wonderful. It's hard for me to see her face, but I'm just seeing like an outline of white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can also just describe her body or anything else that you notice about her. She has blonde hair. I can't really tell if she's either a human or a Pleiadian, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I would like my guide to give you a gift. Okay. And tell me what do you see that you're receiving from her? I'm receiving a, a rose quartz crystal in the shape of a heart. Wonderful. Ask her why does she give you this rose quartz heart? She said it's a tool to energetically place it within the heart to help strengthen the heart, clear it. Ask her why she chose to give you that today. She said we are moving into a heart-based world, and this is what we need to work towards. Wonderful. Ask her if she wants to share any message for the collective. You know what, I feel like I'm losing my connection. Mm -hmm. I think I'm getting tired. Mm, you're doing a really good job, very good. Thank so you. Yeah, very good, yeah, it's very natural. So let's take another deep breath. Okay. And I want you to go now to the most beautiful place. The most beautiful place in the world. What you can consider the most beautiful place, just to be there now. So you can rest and enjoy this series of I'm in Ravello, Italy. It's so beautiful. <laughs> mm. Wonderful. What do you see yourself doing there? I'm on the very top of the mountain in Amalfi, uh, the Amalfi region. I'm looking over the water. Wow. The cliffs and the water. It's very beautiful. Nice. Very, very good. Do mm -hmm. you feel nice to be there? Yeah, it does. Good. Very good. So take another deep breath over there. 
We now invite this woman to be with you there, the guide that you saw before, and tell me if you see her. I see her. Yeah, very good. Connect with her. And would you allow me to communicate with her directly? Yeah, I can try. I just feel like my energy is fading a bit. Okay. So let's see if she has a final message. Okay. 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 So connect with her. May I ask what she wants me to call her? Okay. Ariane. 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 Yes, yeah. Ariane. Okay. She, I think I'm hearing her message. Mm -hmm. It is kind of similar to the other messages that we've received today. Mm -hmm. To just keep doing our, our work and our healing. Must keep spreading the healing because that is what our collective needs. So go within and not without. Mm -hmm. She wants us to try to take time to just be present with ourselves, to put away the phone and really go within. Mm. We, we can heal ourselves. We just need to take the time to be present. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's okay. beautiful. Thank you so much for that. You're welcome. She's sending us her love. Yeah. Thank you. So now you can um, take another deep breath. Let go completely. Very good. I would like the light beings to now pour more light into you and just to help you integrate all this new information and new templates and all the new healing that you received in a way that will be very easy for you to integrate. Now releasing completely. And I would like the subconscious to return to where it's belong and all the guides and all the other beings we were speaking to and thank you for all the information you've been giving us. Yes, thank you everybody. Now I also want to remind you that the things you were seeing are from the past, they belong to the past. We only brought them forward out of curiosity to learn from. And any information we can find in this way is valuable, but it cannot harm you in any way, mentally, physically, or emotionally. I want to remind you that the life that you are living now are the most important life of all because this is the life you are focused on in this present time. Okay. Very good. I also want to remind you that the words that I'm using to help you to go into a deep trance are blue rose. So each and every time I say those words, you'll go even deeper. I'm doing such a wonderful work. Thank you. Thank you. And now I'd like all the consciousness and personalities of Dana to once again fully integrate back into her body, replacing all the other parts we were speaking to. Now fully integrated back into her body, replacing all the other parts we were speaking to. Thank you. Now in a moment, I'm going to count to 10. On a count to 10, you'll feel wide awake and you will feel wonderful all over, just as though you had a nice nap, a nice sleep, you will feel truly rested and refreshed. Anytime we do anything like this, it will always be an enjoyable experience. Now one, two, follow me up as we go. On a count to 10, you'll feel wide awake, feel wonderful all over. Three, four, begin to breathe a little faster as you start to wake up now. You can feel the energy now in your body and you can even start to move your body very nicely, five, six, become aware of the sound, sound in the room and outside of the room, more present in your body now. Seven, eight, very nicely waking up now, fully integrated back into your body now. Nine, 10, wide awake, wide awake. <laughs> wonderful, all over. Oh. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good wow. job.
that was like when Merlin came in and the other guys came in. You really felt them like taking over. Like I really felt their energy in me almost. Felt very expansive, and that energy really stayed with me for a while. Whenever someone was there, and I really felt my mind was going blank, and the answers were just coming out. So that felt really cool. I think that my conscious mind was really like taking a back seat. Wow, <laughs> so that was really cool. Yeah, so I, I, I was aware, but I was like not aware. So it was really cool. That would be interesting now for you to listen to the recording and notice what was more present, what was less. Yes, and that I was the half sister of Arthur. Arthur. I never, and that, and so, uh, yeah, it just all was really cool. To, <laughs> it all making sense. I was like, oh my gosh! So I have to look up. I think it was Mariana. I think I remember that name, and I need to look that up and see if I can find anything. Yeah. Wow. I'll That's see. Beautiful. Thank you yeah. so much. That was yeah. so awesome. Yeah, it was really beautiful. What do you I take felt, out of it? What I is felt was important? A lot of healing. A lot of healing. With the upgrades and the templates, I really felt it. And I just really felt like we are really such multi dimensional beings to be able to like connect with these energies. It was really cool. I saw so many different people and faces coming in that not were necessarily like talking, but they were just like all over the place. <laughs> so wow. we had lots of company. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did. Wow. But that was amazing. You're so good at this. You're really good at guiding. And it was awesome. So I thank you uh, so much again. Wow, beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to learn a little bit about those times and your life there. I know. It was really yeah. cool. I didn't know I had a life like that. I'm always drawn to, like, the healer lives, you know? That's what I'm always thinking of. But it's funny because the last two lives, human lives, were, like, very well, physical lifetimes. But then well, the last time we visited Sirius, so that was yeah. cool. Yeah. But but the other human lifetimes are just showing up as very just like physical 3D lives. Yeah. But I know I've had a lot more as other other people, but it's funny that that's what my conscious mind wants to show me, or subconscious. Yeah. But that was cool, though. There was a lot there. Hmm. And what do you think about that mystery school? That was really cool. And I'm really excited to tell my friend about it because she wanted me to ask. And the fact that so first I was like, this looks like ancient Egypt, but it's like from one side you can enter through Egypt and from the other side you can enter from Syria. So it's like this place in between. Wow. And that we can go there in our meditation and just kind of, in, I guess, go into Egypt and just enter through the doorway. Yeah. And yeah, I'm really feeling like when we envision we're somewhere, our energy really is there. Yeah. And I think that information came through. And I think... Yeah. Imagination is very powerful, and we've always been told that's just your imagination, but it's like yeah. the most powerful thing. Yeah, and those three waves that coming from September, October, November that's something that we got already long ago, so it's another confirmation. Really, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, and you know, I don't know if I told you this, it may have happened, I think it happened after our session. But I had a vision when I was meditating and it looked, I was all of a sudden looking at this farm with this house. It looked like late fall because there was no leaves on the trees. But all of a sudden this multidimensional golden bridge appeared in this vision. So I really took this as a message as some big dimensional change is happening Wonderful. in the late fall. Yeah. I don't know what this means, you know, <laughs> but it seemed big, you know. <laughs> Yeah, beautiful. Yes, and then we'll they see. mentioned that there's kind of a time that we will experience both places, and it's kind of a multi dimensional experience, right? Did you get that as well? Yeah, I, I think I do remember that. That make, it makes a lot of sense, right? Mm -hmm. That it's like it's a it's a shift, so it makes sense to be kind of in both, and I think we're becoming more in both more and more. Yeah, yeah. I can feel that too. It's 
Especially oh, with all the sacred sites you've been going to. You guys must really be <laughs> like <laughs> living beyond. It's already feel a little bit like a parallel dimension what's going on right now for me in my life. So <laughs> Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. Yes. You're doing an amazing job. You're doing really, really beautiful and you channel it very beautifully. Thank you so much. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah, it's becoming definitely easier. I felt it. Like, yeah, so the more you do it, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. More information can come forward and you can trust it more and can sit in the back seat more. Yeah, it's good. really cool. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. I feel like um i feel like you know we both came kind of like very open to see what comes up maybe next time we can make like a really nice solid question so that we really find like interesting and then kind of explore that even more a little bit more kind of like uh, let's get know. specific let's yeah get specific and see what comes because i feel like you have good link and good beings that can like assist awesome so, uh, we can do that maybe in the future. Yeah, so we got to think of our questions and what yeah. we want. Because this is the only way they really know how to help us. We have to be specific. That's right. We do. Yeah. We think that they can just like read our minds, but mm -hmm. we they have to ask. Can, but we still have to ask. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we still have to be specific and ask. So yeah, yeah. let's ask yeah. for more healing and more assistance. That would be a good idea when we're in that state. So just say, yeah. you know, help us out. We're ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they mentioned that you visualize this light going into the earth as well and um, just with the um, waves to just really open up yourself to receive. Remember uh, that? A little bit. It's, yeah, I think I do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was cool. Cool. That's so really you'll cool. take some time to, I will upload it and we'll send you the recording so you can view it. And let awesome. It awesome. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> How do you feel in your body now? I feel really good. I'm feeling a little hungry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think because those energies were so present in my energy field, I think it did I'm not like drained, but I feel like I need to fuel myself, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It will be good to drink a lot of water. It is. It's a lot of energy that's flowing through you and the upgrades and all that. So a lot, a lot of water is really good. Even sometimes right. doing a physical activity, like going out now and like just take a walk, kind of. That sounds push, nice. Push some energy to receive some energy back and kind of get right. it into the body. So just something to like get into your body. Sometimes it's draining. Sometimes like you'll sleep amazing tonight, you know. And I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's, my head is cut off in the bed. No, no, it's all good. <laughs> yeah. So just like do things for self-care. Take this bath maybe even that they like showed you how taking a healing bath. It's going to be nice. Yeah. Got to do that more. And I yeah. have been feeling called to do that. So it's funny that it came up. Yeah. That is a nice time to just be present with yourself. You have no distractions, you know. Yeah. I love healing bath. It's my thing. It is really awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. It's so nice to connect with you. Yeah. You're amazing. <laughs> oh, You're so great. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, uh, until next time. Until next time. I and mean, I'll talk to you soon. Mm. Much love. Much love. Enjoy your trip. The rest you. of your adventure. Thank you. Thank you. you too. Bye. Thank Bye -bye. you.